Okay, so a lot of you guys and gals have asked me over the past months, over the past years, when it's right to use water-fed pole and when it's not right to use water-fed pole. It's not really about what is right and what is not right. It's just more what is the situation. Construction cleans, I would never use a water-fed pole unless it's just something that is so out of reach you don't have the right tools for and you're on a deadline then you know it is what it is there's definitely a lot of attachments out there where you can make it work you could put a razor up there scrape the window you could put bronze wool pads magic erasers you could do a lot of things so uh, technically it's possible but you're probably not going to achieve the look you really want with like commercial storefronts, I don't use water fed pole, but I know a lot of guys that do. I think if I use it a, if I had a van mounted system, I probably would do it a lot more, but you know, I, I feel like the squeegee traditional method for storefronts is so quick and the results are just like that. And it's the same once you get um, places conditioned for water fed pole but I've really never done it for storefronts and really don't ever plan on doing it. If I was to do a van mounted system, I would want like an RO system and RO systems, once it gets into winter, you gotta remove them or, you know, winterize your RO and it's just something I don't really wanna worry about. So yeah, storefronts, I'm basically all traditional stuff. Even most commercial buildings that we do, even two stories, we do a lot of just traditional methods because it is so quick, but I would say that we've also gotten into it so heavily that what I find is when we try to switch to water fed pole, there's so much dirt and soap still, you know, there's still stuff there on the glass that it's really hard to get a condition back. And so there's some jobs where we've just, you know, kept going traditional. But I think water fed pole is the preferred way because you are getting those frames really clean. And once you get it to a certain area as far as it being conditioned it looks really really good and you know you just have to make the judgment call and based on your experience based on what you know whether or not to use it at commercial buildings or not my suggestion is from the start just do it um, I try to really use it as I really like using it on homes I think water fed pole is one of the greatest products I, as far as the quality i would say when you follow all the steps correctly nothing looks better than water fed pole the results are just awesome there's never a streak there's never drips um uh, it's just to me once i got it and once i really understood how to do it perfectly there's nothing better than it especially for homes <sighs> winter time you know, around like 32 degrees, you're really running risk of when you get in the shade of it freezing. I've done it. I've had homes freeze, but I know that sometime during the day it was going to get above freezing. So I knew those windows would thaw out, but I definitely, I guess I just don't, I don't suggest using it unless you have some sort of heated uh, van mounted system but even at that you know if the water is outside long enough in the shade it's gonna freeze so it's really kind of uh, it's a catch-22 on whether or not it's really really a good idea French windows water fed pole always especially well only outside but man it just you clean the frame so fast it's way way better quality than what you can do by hand french windows are one of those things with no matter if you do straight poles or if you fan them you always leave behind directional marks you always leave behind rainbow streaks you'll always leave something behind no matter which way you do i don't care what you say you leave stuff behind when doing traditional uh plenty of people try to tell me they can do traditional with french windows way faster i say great but your quality is probably gonna suck i just know it i've seen way too many window cleaners over the years try it and try to make it look great and it's passable it's fine never have we had a complaint from a customer but outside using a water fed pole on french any type of french glass french windows french doors is going to be a better product i think water fed pole overall like i said is a greater product for residential because you get to clean and for commercial because you get to clean the frames really well 
and you get to clean the glass extremely, extremely well. Sometimes it's not faster. That's the thing. There is times where I'm doing it and I'm like, I could do this faster. I got to a home the other day that water fed pulling it or um, doing it traditional would have been fine. But I mean the whole second floor, I could just walk the whole entire roof and sometimes walking the roof with your with your hoses and everything gets to be really tedious and the hoses get tangled up on bushes and it just kind of like aggravates me and knowing that my product is really good with the squeegee too it's hard not to just take out the squeegee i bet the house that i did that was like that would have taken longer using water fed pole one story homes i wouldn't use water fed pole unless it's french windows i just wouldn't do it using a step ladder and going around is so fast you know, and, and a lot of guys ask, can you remove paint or hard water with pure water or silicone or, you know, these other debris that are going to take more work? You really can't. I mean, even the bronze wool, it does a good job. But a lot of times this summer, I went away from it and just used pure bores here and it was fine. I, I find sometimes that bronze wool as an extra step that you don't really need. And so I just have it on there if I see something extra. Because from what I've seen, it doesn't do that that much better. Like one tool I want to try is the new Alpha Tucker scrubber with the white pads. But then again with that, um, Kevin Hargis put a video up on Facebook showing that when you're doing like a double hump, that rinse bar gets in the way and makes it just a little bit hard to get that final little area um, where the rinse bar hits the frame. Pretty much this is what I think with water fed pole of when I really use it. The, the thing that we've gotten to is basically if something's over 20 feet and water fed pole is going to do a good job, we just use water fed for homes, commercial buildings. The safety factor is the big thing. If you want just a safe business, um, I think water fed pole is your best route, especially for homes. Um, I don't know if you're going to save money on insurance by telling them you're not doing ladder work, you're only doing water fed. I don't know. You know, window cleaning is a risk job, so they might just look at it that way. Anything like there's so many homes that I find that we do nowadays where it literally takes a 40 foot water fed pole. I don't like doing 40 foot ladder work. I just don't. I, I, I don't think I've ever done a 40 foot ladder work. I've done 30, 32, and I don't like that. I just, I don't enjoy it. When water fed is such a good option and it does such a good job, why go up that high and risk things anymore? Cheers to everybody that does it. I have no problem with it. I think it's great. I think there's, I think it's great. There's people out there that still do it, but I just think, you know, with all the different attachments now, you can do such a good job, you know, that why, why risk it? You know, I think a lot of the questions I get too is, do I need a DI or RO? And really the true factor is, I don't even need an RO where I'm at, but I have one because I know I'll do commercial buildings here and there, that the TDS will be, th TDS will be three to 500. So it's really nice just having that tool of having it. Could I get by with a DI tank? Yeah, I get by with the DI tank. But then I talk to guys like in Texas or out east, and their TDS is consistently around four to 500, and there's no way they would want to do a DI system because they would just run through it super, super quick. But as far as using water fed pole versus traditional, you really just are going to figure it out through your experiences and through time. And you're really just going to have to decide, you know, what's best. But the thing is, is that you're really going to have to learn the technique of water fed to really understand when and when not to use it. That's really a more important part because if you don't know how to use it, then you're most likely not going to bring it out because you don't trust it. But if you learn it and get the confidence with it, that's going to make you take it out at jobs where you maybe wouldn't have taken it out a year or two years prior. So that's my thoughts on, you know, water fed versus traditional and when and when not is the right time to use it. But overall, you know, so many people I think have doubts about water fed. It's such a great product and it can save you so much time and so much um, anxiousness about maybe big jobs that look really overwhelming with ladder work.
that's my thoughts on it. I hope it kind of helps you out, but I want to do this video because so many people have asked, you know, what are my thoughts on it? And that's pretty much it. So uh, if you got any questions, ask me below if I haven't covered something that you want to cover in this video as far as this topic. And we'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.